On the surface, it looks as if little is being done to this pasture. And that's exactly what these farmers are looking for. But on closer inspection, this field is being plowed. I'd say we went about 15 or 16 inches. Categorized as a subsoil plow, the key line plow slices through the ground beneath the surface, providing farmers with a unique tool to improve soil health and pasture quality. A normal plow is used to create a smooth, a clean planting bed. And so it actually flips the, the sod or the, whatever the vegetation is over onto itself, which is very disruptive to soil structure and soil biology. Um, and so in this case, we're not actually turning the soil at all. We're not mixing it. Um, we're keeping our topsoil and subsoil layers in the place where they originally were. And we're basically just looking to improve the, the overall structure of the soil. Soil is made up of layers called horizons. The key line plow uses coulter wheels or cutting disks to cut through the pasture or sod while leaving the topsoil virtually undisturbed. Heavy curved blades called shanks drop below the surface to break up any compacted soil. As animals, people, and machinery move across a piece of land, be it a pasture or even a small vegetable garden, the soil becomes compacted. Compacted soil prohibits water from draining, causing either runoff or flooding. Plant roots cannot penetrate compacted soils in order to get the nutrients they need to grow, causing less robust plants and smaller harvests. Everybody's fairly familiar with key line, what it, what it is. The word itself describes both a point in the landscape but also a design process. Lyle Edwards is here from Westfield, Vermont. He's looking to use key line plowing to better distribute water on his farm. I'm concentrating more and more on pasture, you know, during the pasture season, and I'm just, it's just another improvement for the farm, you know, to make your farm more efficient, you know, more productive. It was good for me to come here to see how this works, and I, I do think, you know, after listening to Mark, that quite knowledgeable, I think it will be a, a plus for my farm. It will be able to distribute to water more evenly on your farm, you know, distribute to where it needs it. All that I've heard today says that it works pretty well, that it definitely uh, does do that. John Clark hosted this day's event. He too wanted to get a look at the plow in action and have a chance to talk about it with his fellow farmers. I've been interested in trying the key line uh, plow for quite a few years actually, and I've seen some success on other farms, and so I was interested in it already and UVM approached me about doing some test plots on our farm and I said oh why not and then uh, later on they approached me about uh, hosting an event here and I thought it was a great thing to host on our farm it, it brings people here as well as uh, gives other farmers in the area a chance to check out the key line plow and see what it can do and and talk about it and learn about it and just a great networking opportunity Apple Cheek Farm is a diversified operation specializing in organic, pasture-raised beef and poultry. Starting with our soils, we try to create the most healthy product we can. We kind of call ourselves grass farmers, and basically we're trying to use photosynthesis to grow and healthy soils to grow as much grass as we can and convert that grass into meat, milk, eggs, um, products that we sell on our farm. And so the healthier and my, more biodiverse our soils are, um, the healthier crop of grass we'll have. Taking the key line plow out for a test drive, or test plow as the case may be, allows these farmers a chance to see for themselves what the plow can do. Plows are commonplace on farms, but purchasing a specialized plow like a key line plow is an added cost of around $8,000 or more meaning that the benefits that this plow affords the soil could quickly clash with a farm's bottom line. What I see as being ideal is that farmers aggregate together in an area and purchase a plow that they share, um, because this is really something that you'd, you'd only need for maybe a week or two each season, um, and so it makes a lot more sense to share that cost in a locale and, and then make it available. What some people are doing is just purchasing the shanks and building their own frame because the shanks are actually being shipped from Australia. Uh, that is the only place right now where they're producing these and, and so they can save a lot cost-wise by, by doing that. 
the key line plow does provide benefits to the soil. And after this demonstration, it may also cultivate friendships or partnerships to grow on. In Hyde Park, I'm Keith Silva with Across the Fence.